Teacher Carlos Plain of Durham School states, Totally, I went through my entire time on Earth empowering and expressing a hypothesis of the universe. In addition, at last, the hypothesis is being tried. I welcome that since that is how we push ahead. That is how we gain ground in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting and phenomenal measure of what has been seen as truth in cosmology. For the new year, another ultra-deep picture shows that we have serious goofs in cosmology. The telescope that should show us the essential stars of the universe is evolving into an enemy of the past perspective. Furthermore, it may present to us a thoroughly astonishing science. Not all experts are grappling in dread at the new realities. Other well-informed specialists welcome the advancement since it has, for a genuinely long time, been clear that something was the matter with our old speculations. The deviation in the assessment of the progression speed of the universe alone should have shaken specialist perceptions in the past, yet bringing everything into account, they stuck to old speculations. The Galactic Microwave Background, CMB, considered the most settled light in the universe, was made something like 380,000 years after the Big Bang, right when the universe had cooled enough for electrons and protons to form stable hydrogen particles. Researchers call this cycle reionization, which made the universe transparent to light. The CMB was first seen in 1964 by American physicists Arno Pincius and Robert Wilson while they were dealing with another type of radio receiving antenna technology. This revelation was, for a long time, seen as possibly the most robust piece of evidence for the hypothesis of the ancient Big Bang, earning Pincius and Wilson a Nobel Prize and an irrefutable spot in the history of astronomy. The CMB most logically offers a perspective on the early universe, with little temperature contrasts, providing fundamental data about the conditions shortly after the Big Bang. Great scientists included the CMB as a solid foundation for the essential assessments of the material universe to check the progression speed of the universe, among other things. The cosmologist Edwin Hubble had previously settled this in the late 1920s, finding that faraway galaxies retreat from us and that their speed is proportional to their distance. Today, these observations are known as the Hubble Law or the Hubble Constant. Hubble didn't have the high-level evaluating methodologies available many years later when the CMB was found, which led to a recalculated expansion rate. These were overall lower than Hubble's original figure. Later, Trained professionals recalculated the rate using type IIA supernovae as standard candles, providing stable light that could be used as a reliable measuring point. The assessments inside the CMB yielded an expansion speed of around 67 km per second per megaparsec, while estimates using large explosions yielded around 74 km per second per megaparsec. What does this difference in deciding the improvement speed of the universe really tell us? Did you know that this goof has been known since the 1990s? Since that point, analysts have known, or at least thought, that something may be the matter with the examination of the CMB, the evaluation strategies, or the possibility of the universe's extension. The inconsistency between the observed and anticipated values of the development rate is referred to in science as the SAA strain or Hubble strain. The ramifications of this strain are tremendous showing that fundamental bits of how we understand the universe may be flawed. For a seriously significant time, scientists were puzzled. Since the James Webb Space Telescope went into action, it has equipped experts with stunning information that may now uncover data on the issue of the improvement speed of the universe. With systems so old and mature that their development should have begun hypothetically before the Big Bang, this is upsetting old cosmology. Analysts no longer discuss mistakes or estimation contrasts. They discuss the emergency in current stargazing. Not only could the advancement rate be incorrect, but the entire idea of development or the Big Bang itself is being called into question. Pictures from the telescope give proof of a universe completely startling from what we have long thought. The SAA pressure was the chief reprimand to specialists who still have faith in old speculation. Now, they face a problem. Do we, in fact, understand the universe? Different researchers stand on the remains of their once brilliant source of both revelation and torment, examining space with fear and wrestling with what they find. Taking into account the emergency in science, we should ask ourselves, what do we, in fact, know about the universe? To answer this, we truly need to understand how science works. Theoretical experts use a sophisticated array of mathematical models, 
mindful data, and logical reasoning to move from general to specific conclusions. Their understanding comes from a blend of discernment, empirical outcomes, and speculative assessments. The term hypothesis alone shows that these are advancements and considerations, not absolute facts. The primary critical data we have are the photographs telescopes give, the sound waves and radiation gathered with radio telescopes, and the latest information from neutrino study structures or gravitational wave pointers. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we now have an instrument that can split the light into individual frequencies and analyze it in wonderful ways. Webb can show us the essential part of galaxies in the early universe, billions of years ago, how much mass they contained, and the number of stars present. It can also track the shape and course of a galaxy's development. Webb, however, has limitations, for example, it can't always determine whether we are seeing galaxies or, instead, black holes with enormous gravitational forces that shine as brightly as a galaxy. We must face the truth that our science has long accepted too many possibilities. Realities, while excusing elective clarifications, research has for quite a while been certain about its accuracy. The most recent disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope are fundamental signs to supplant theories with new experiences, as has occurred for the most part in science. Experts are eagerly expecting the new disclosures, which are surprisingly surprising, and various specialists are endeavoring to foster new clarifications. The new revelations shake the underpinnings of our ongoing science, disturbing numerous specialists. The current models of certifiable science are still generally founded on Isaac Newton's regulations from the 17th century. His laws of movement and gravity were the underpinning of our perception of the truth of this world and the universe for quite a while. Newton's principles explain the development of things under ordinary conditions and functionality, particularly on the planet. However, in space, his theories required advancement, generally completed by Albert Einstein in the mid-20th century. Einstein's extraordinary hypothesis of relativity, published in 1905, changed how we decipher reality showing that existence is relative to each other and relies on the eyewitness's movement. His general theory of relativity, published in 1915, extended this thought with mathematical depictions of gravitational properties based on the arch of space-time by masses like stars or galaxies. Einstein's principles and considerations were significant in numerous areas. However, he also recognized their limitations. He knew his theory would never completely depict the universe and yearned to see a unified theory, which he never accomplished. No other expert has reached this stage either. Wouldn't it be interesting to know where it lies? Michio Kaku, a prominent astrophysicist from the USA, said in a meeting that tending to this issue would certainly win a Nobel Prize. Could we investigate whether the experts might have missed potential misinterpretations or whether our telescopes are to be blamed? Dark matter and dark energy are at the top of the suspect list for the major reasons for the cosmological emergency. Our evolving models of the universe integrate ideas that dark matter and dark energy make up around 95% of the universe. However, neither has been clearly observed, and their confirmed presence has never been shown. They most likely don't exist in any form or shape, requiring elective clarifications for the universe's expansion and the elements of galaxies. On the other hand, they could have properties we don't yet understand. One thought is that the genuine properties of dark matter and dark energy have changed over time, perhaps showing some type of evolution. Gravity is another hypothesis to be tested. This force, which makes attraction through mass or curvature in space-time, has not yet been completely explained. The concepts of space-time curvature, which begin from Einstein and have been customarily supported, may require revisiting. We can't excuse the possibility that gravity has unexpected properties or that another force is responsible for the gravitational attraction between objects over time. A few constants have been laid out in cosmology and space science as universal standards. The investigation of the universe has forever been a journey defined by our constant quest for understanding and revelation. From ancient human civilizations noticing the stars to current space telescopes investigating the depths of the universe, each step toward advancement and hypothesis has uncovered new insights while testing established beliefs. In the area of cosmology, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, remains as a guide of our scientific advancement, promising to change how we interpret the universe's origins and development.
Launched with exceptional abilities, JWST represents a leap forward in observational space science, intended to look further into the universe than ever before, with remarkable accuracy in considering radiation. The Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, often referred to as the glow of the Big Bang, offers a perspective on the universe as it existed just a brief time after its first interaction with the world. This old form of radiation conveys fundamental data about the universe's initial circumstances, including its temperature variations, which are critical to understanding the development of galaxies and large-scale structures. The difference in the possible values of the Hubble constant, known as the Hubble tension, has been a subject of prolonged debate. It suggests that something is off with our fundamental understanding of the universe and its early formations. Revelations challenge traditional theories and require a reassessment of whether our viewpoint on infinite evolution is generally imperfect. New insights might uncover hidden portions of the universe's creation, raising questions about dark matter and dark energy, two unexplained parts that make up the vast majority of reality. The progression of science relies on the capacity to reshape our theories in light of new data. Webb's mission embodies this pursuit. Its revelations will serve as a foundation for future cosmological discussions and should shed new perspectives on the universe's secrets. The eventual fate of cosmology might witness massive changes, leading to significant implications for how we interpret the universe. From the Big Bang to the ongoing cycles that define its future, the answer to the greatest limitless question may lie beyond our current knowledge, and Webb's observations may ultimately be crucial in uncovering new insights that could reshape how we interpret reality itself. The way forward for cosmology and space science is filled with possibilities. Each groundbreaking observation and piece of information from telescopes like Webb brings us closer to answering the most significant questions mankind has ever presented. How did the universe begin? What is its ultimate destiny? Are there different forms of life out there? Or are we alone in this tremendous universe? These are questions that may one day find answers, and the James Webb Space Telescope is at the forefront of this amazing effort. The future of cosmology will probably involve a combination of new technologies, refined theories, and momentous revelations that continue to push the limits of what we know. As we venture further into the unknown, one thing is sure. Science, like the universe itself, is always in a state of constant expansion, driven by the quest for knowledge and the wonder of discovery.